Nutshack owns? I thought it was bad. I remember hearing it was awful and offensive, and like, people were like, yo, this is the first show made by Filipinos. Like, the first animated American show. And I watched it, and I was like, ugh. I was like, ugh. I remember it, it was like, if it wasn't made by Filipino people, it would be a racist and offensive representation of Filipino people. Oh, hello. Let us peep the horror. All right. I mean, listen, you asked for it. Don't blame me. Are you guys ready? We're going to peep the horror. You asked for this. It went on for four years? What? It had two seasons? How many seasons did this have? Oh, it only had two seasons. That's still two more seasons than I thought this show would have gotten. Two cousins, Phil and Jack, from completely different worlds, the Philippines and the SF Bay Area, are forced to live together by their overly controlling uncle, Tito Dick. In case you guys don't know, Tito is like a... That's what you call your aunts and uncles. So this is the SF guy. This is the SF guy. He's probably he's probably the Drake Bell, like the, the Drake Parker cool guy. And then there's probably his cousin. This guy's name is Ho Rat. Jack is definitely probably the one from the Philippines, if I'm gonna guess. And he probably has an accent. Let's read some of the let's read the synopsis for some of these things. Jack arrives in the United States fresh out of the Philippines, and his cousin Phil. Yeah, that's what I figured. Shows him around town as per Tito's request. Okay. Interesting episode. Jack, Phil, and Chita go to Lake Tahoe to do some... Okay. Interesting. Wow. Wow. Incredible. Incredible writing. Jack has his jeepney shipped all the way from the Philippines and wants to get it customized. Meanwhile, Phil challenges Jerome and Jamar to a race. Wow. Woo! Oh, boy. Oh boy, God, just has me hooked. Has me hooked. Maybe season two gets spicier. Phil takes Jack to do some graffiti, but when Jack sprays it all over Jerome and Jerome and Jamar's tags, things take okay. That actually like seems like something that's watchable. Phil goes on a journey to the Philippines in search of his real father. What the fuck happened here? Jack's doppelganger go. Jack's doppelganger goes on a murderous rampage in the Tenderloin on Halloween night? Phil must train his penis with the help of a living barrel man in order to take on John claude Van Damme in a deadly battle to the finish. Huh? What? Ning Ping, a racist Chinese man, takes revenge on Filipino Americans and makes them work slave labor after a Pinoy refuses to date him. This sounds... This is a personal experience to the writers. This is real. This happened to, to one of the writers. I absolutely guarantee it. The gang infiltrates Ning Ping's headquarters, but Ning Ping is double-crossed by his right-hand man who turns out to be the 43rd president of the United States, George W. Bush! <laughs> Bush then calls upon the support of Don Emus and they reveal, reveal, unveil Robophobe, an evil robot bent on turning everyone into white people? <laughs> the gang must battle Robophobe with a formation resembling the Megazord. Oh my fucking god. I'm not gonna lie, this season 2 sounds kind of fucking lit. Like, this seemed extremely boring. This does not seem like it's a, even a TV show. This sounds insane. This sound this... Uh, Nutshack walked so Rick and Morty can walk, could, could run. <laughs> Wait, what's the last one? Phil, Jack, and Cheetah go to see Manny Pacquiao. Okay, of course they gotta have, you know, this is, this is the Filipino guy, you know, boxing. And take revenge on Loco, the Iron Sanji. 
and the Rainbow Scout for brutally beating Freddie Roach, his trainer, in a live televised event. Okay, that... Of all the things, this was the least interesting. It feels like... The last episode of season one? The evil dick, Tito, is spiking all the birth control town in it with his own DNA, causing any woman who takes it to become impregnated with his child. The child grows at a rapid rate, creating an unstoppable army of babies. TT Boy and Kid Utot set out to stop... Okay. I kind of wish I didn't read that. I was thinking of watching this just to get to this part, because this looks insane. I don't think I want to watch it because of that part. When the world runs out of weed, the gang sets out to find the Holy Grail of Weed, which is said to be a legend. However, Bob Saget stops them on the way. Do we think Bob Saget is actually in the show? Do you think he agreed to be a voice in the show? Let's watch... We can maybe watch one episode. The pilot is on. I'm not going to watch this whole thing. I refuse to watch this whole thing. We're going to watch... We will watch a little bit of the pilot together. The second this gets too out of pocket, I'm turning it off. But you are no match for my Viagra power don't snatch her. Stick that here. This sounds like a person doing an offensive Filipino accent. Does it not? But like it's it is actually just Phil two Filipino people. I'm pretty sure. I I need to know. I want to meet a person that finds this, like, legitimately hilarious. I feel like there's someone out there that watched this and thought this was the funniest shit they've ever seen in their entire life. I love this job. Ah, uh, they don't even pay me. Thank you for your cooperation, and sorry about your luck. I think, I think that's the cue. I think this is the cue we go back to this space. Doesn't this show look... You know what this show looks like? This show looks like it, it is all... This looks like an NFT show. Doesn't the art in this show remind you of NFTs? It looks like... The, all of this looks like it was an NFT. Like, this guy looks like he yes, was like an NFT art. It's like this, man. This is how we do it in the States, homeboy. Why? Yeah. Why? Why? I'm stinky ass porno man. Stay away from him. Dang. What they doing? They shut the hell up. They didn't censor that one. They didn't censor that one. Okay. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. No, I'm sorry. Sorry, children.